I'm, I'm Pedro Duque Vieira, but uh, it's easier to call me Duque. I've developed a number of applications, applications for Fortune 500 companies, uh, like uh, Carrier, which is a company that's based in uh, New, New York, applications for uh, tech leaders and applications for small startups also. One of them is called Hero. It was an application I, I did for a small startup. There's also an article I published in, on Fujai about that application. So it's an application similar to AutoCAD. It was for this small startup and it's now finished and uh, outperforming some of the established software that was in this same area. And uh, it's being used in the Australian market. I usually work as a freelance consultant uh, or as a contractor. I work as a software engineer and as a software designer. Uh, I also do sometimes the design of the applications and, uh, and I have a bit of knowledge about the UX also, about UX. Regarding JavaFX, I've been using it uh, since its very first beta version. Also, I do open source, I contribute to open source. I have a number of JavaFX libraries and software uh, that I did in my spare time. Uh, some of those libraries are used on some interesting applications like uh, NASA applications, like Deep Space Trajectory Explorer. The last time we were talking together, uh, Sean Phillips was also present and he was kind enough to also say that uh, an application in the White House was also using uh, a library that, uh, that, um, that, that an open source library that I created. And, and yes, uh, so everybody in this community knows Sean, he's, like, he's a legend and it's very rewarding to, have, to know that he's using some of my uh, open source libraries. It was, it was great to hear that. One of the tools that you've been working on is PDF SAM. Yeah. Uh, can you explain what that exactly provides as functionality? PDF SAM is, a, is an application for um, editing uh, PDF files, editing and managing PDF files. Uh, it's an application that was done, um, it's 100% Java. There's a free version that's called PDF SAM Basic and it's open source. So the PDF SAM Basic is the, um, is the free version. So you can see here that it's, uh, it has a, a bunch of actions that you can do on a, a PDF file. This is the free version. Then there's a paid professional version that has more features and more, more more stuff you can do. That one, PDF Sam, Sam Visual, is a Java and Electron application. What I was working on with Andrea uh, at the beginning this year, end of last year, was to convert everything. And the goal was to be 100% Java and JavaFX and to, to leave Electron. So I'll open here um, a, a PDF book. I'll choose. Uh, Definite guide to Java clients, which is fitting for this interview. <laughs> uh, so this is a book with 600 and something pages, and you can see that it opens rather quickly. This is uh, multi-threaded. There's a thread that renders the PDF files, and then it uh, sends it to the JavaFX thread so that it shows it on the screen. Everything is rendered on a, a neat basis. So Right now, it only rendered what's on screen. If I scroll, it starts to render the rest. And you can see that um, it's, it's, it's performant, uh, it's fast. Sometimes you can't even notice that it's loading. Uh, this control is also virtualized, so you, you don't, um, you only, it only has on the scene the, the nodes that are not necessary. And then it reuses those nodes when you scroll, uh, the nodes that show the pages. So it consumes less memory and it's more performant that way. So if I go here, it, you can see it's 600 pages and uh, it renders rather fast using Java and JavaFX. You can also zoom in and out. Uh, and also, yeah, there's a bunch of actions you can do, like change the order of stuff of the pages and uh, rotate pages. 
um, bring images and, and the PDF files from the outside to here to, to merge them, them into this uh, PDF file. Is that one of the main advantages of using Java here that you have these threads? So Java Fix is always a single thread, but you can use Java threads to offload some pre-processing like rendering these pages. Is that one of the main advantages of using Java plus Java Fix? Yeah, you can easily create threads and um, you have to be careful, of course, to not have synchronization problems. One of the main things that was the, the cause of leaving Electron uh, in favor of Java was that in Java and JavaFX, you can um, update the Java version or the JavaFX version. And it's uh, it, it, it usually just works. Uh, it's not like um, there's an emphasis of, on backwards compatibility. Every time there's a feature added to Java or, or JavaFX or something else is changed, uh, there's a, an emphasis that it's backwards compatible and applications that were built with previous versions of Java and JavaFX, they still work. Mm -hmm. And in Electron, uh, Andre's experience also is that it's not that way. You, you usually, every time you update uh, the Electron version, you have to keep your fingers crossed uh, that everything works. Can you show some examples of what you've created these libraries? Like you sure. have Epic Teams, you have other ones. Um, can you show us what these libraries are and what they can uh, add as a value to an application? Sure, sure. This is FX Teams. It's a library for um, helping on custom team development. It has some more advanced features like background blur. Uh, and also changing the title bar of a window, which is not possible with JavaFX alone. So th this is a sample about setting a background blur on a, on a window, a JavaFX window. This library uses uh, calls on native code uh, from the operating system API to produce a background blur that's the same as you can see, for instance, on Windows applications or Mac applications, native applications. Uh, right now, there's no background blur. Then you have three options for background blur. You have Mika. Mika is um, it samples the background of the of your desktop once, and uh, and then it it uses that background of your desktop as the basis for the background blur. There's Mika and there's Mika Alt. Mika Alt is a bit more pronounced. You can see that if I drag the the window around. It's affected, affected by the background uh, of your desktop, but it's not affected by, um, say, um, by windows that are behind it. In this case, you have the acrylic background blur, which uh, which is affected by whatever is behind it. So, if I put here this window. Uh, you can see that it's being affected by whatever is behind the, this window. This is less performant, but uh, it's because anything that's behind it affects the background blur. Another feature is uh, support for dark team. This uh, the area where you see the content uh, is uh, the responsibility of JavaFX, but the 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 area where you see the window frame with the minimize, maximize, and, and cross, this, that's, that's not JavaFX doing that. Um, and, and the way, so to, to change that, uh, in Windows, you'll always have this uh, window title bar always showing with a light color. And to, to change that, you have to call off on native uh, operating system uh, APIs. So when you click here, it's calling on the operating system to change the window to dark. That's uh, that's only possible this way. JavaFX doesn't doesn't have uh, doesn't have API to change the the, the title bar um, appearance. The sources of this library are available on GitHub, I guess. Yes. Also sure. the samples. Yes, yes, yes. Is there another project you want to show? Yeah, sure. So this is FX Components. It's a collection of 
JavaFX components that you can controls that you can use on your application. So the navigation pane is this control. Um, on the left, you have the navigation items. And on the right and center, you have the, the content that you want to display. This is usually a navigation uh, paradigm that you, you can see in a, a lot of apps nowadays. Uh, you can also you can shrink this uh, to show more of your content. You can there's um, you can have a, a hierarchy of navigation items. You can have child child uh, uh, navigation items. It also says has some animations built in, so uh, you can see here it, it's animating. Uh, and um, you can use FX teams in this case. It's using FX teams to show you the. For this uh, background of this background, you can see that it's using a background blur. Something more you want to show? Uh, th there's also one thing I, I remember now about FX teams, is that uh, Caldea also joined the the work of uh, the effort of developing FX teams, and I'm very happy that he joined because he's a he's a Java and JavaFX guru, and uh, he he is working on the Mac. Uh, part the Mac uh, support. He I don't have a Mac, and he has a, 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 a he uses a Mac for developing. And uh, we already have that um, frame title bar changing on Mac and the uh, and Windows. And in the future, near future, we're probably going to also integrate the background blur. He already has it working um, on. Um, a proof of concept that he he did, and it's it, we just need to integrate this work on on FX teams, and we then we can have a background bar on Windows and Mac. About transit team, this is a, a team for your applications. It builds upon lessons that were learned while creating JMetro. I have here um, a sample. A sample uh, that shows a bunch of controls with uh, the transit team applied. Um, it also is nice for debugging. So this uh, it's uh, team tester. Uh, you can see the, all the controls here. Uh, you can already see that, um, for instance, the scroll bar here. It's different from the the, the JFX standard scroll bar. It, it it usually shows on a, a minimal a minimal thumb, and then when you approach the mouse, it converts to a full control. It's it's uh, better, I think, for if you don't have if you don't want your uh, a, a, a UI to be so very clouded with stuff. And um, so it also this library also uses uh, another library I created it uh, behind the scenes that uh, that library is called FX skins that changes the skins of the controls and adds functionality and changes some stuff some features and adds features. For instance, here the button you can see that you can see that it has a bit of a it has a shrink animation. Uh, so this is not just aesthetic changes; it's also functional functional changes. So, uh, to be precise, you just keep the components which are available in Java VIX, but you add functionality to them and color patterns and also maybe animations and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Uh, so, uh, Java the, the the controls have kind of like an MVC. Uh, um, design pattern to them. You have the control, and then you have the skins. And usually, the developer only interacts with the control. So what I change are the skins, and uh, the functionality stays the same. So you can actually just uh, you don't have to need to change anything on your codes uh, because the skins are changed behind the scenes, and uh, the API that you use. Uh, on the controls stays the same. Mm -hmm. It's a nice pattern that JavaFX has, um, and I'm I'm taking advantage advantage of it. So, 
Yeah, a bunch of other, like for instance here, you, you can see the slider. Usually the slider of JavaFX doesn't have a, a background a field. And another thing that when you drag the slider, it shows a pop-up with uh, with the exact value. And, and that's not that's also not present on a JavaFX control, a normal JavaFX control. And this is all added by changing the scheme. And the, the way you interact, the developer continues to interact with the control is exactly the same. You don't need to change anything on your code, but uh, this fun functionality um, is added without you having to change anything. Um, like uh, also here, the progress bar, you can see the in, in the terminal progress bar has this animation with points. That's also not, uh, this is also achieved by changing the skin. Or the, the text field has a clear button. You can uh, you can press it. And this is this is not like I was saying. This is not a new control. This is just changing the skins. The advantage of that is that you still use the same API. You can uh, you you don't have to change anything about your code. And if you want later, you can ditch um, this uh, team for another one easily because. The code, uh, your code doesn't depend on the team because this is not a new control. And uh, you, or you can change and say you, you want to, to use another team on another operating system, a different team, and you want to use this team on Windows. It, it's also easier that this way. Okay, thanks, Pedro, for joining this Thank recording. You. Thank you for all your amazing work in the libraries that you're creating and sharing. I think uh, all the libraries are on JFX Central, so people uh, can yeah. see screenshots. Yeah. Yeah. They can find download links there, uh, examples. So that's a great way to start and, uh, using them. The applications them. are also there. If someone wants to to reach out for some work um, arrangement, I'm, you can reach me through pixelduke.com. I also post uh, my work on uh, on Twitter. Uh, my my some some of my work on Twitter. My hand my Twitter handle is p underscore duke.